Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact So, in this video there's a special event right now So I want to do this special event, so I think there's a story here So I want to do this uh, before this video Let's see, let's see if I can finish it in just one video maybe, if possible uh, The Blazing Star Swinging Fortune, let's do this first So I have to go to Ningguang Oh by the way, I got Keqing right last time So yeah, I uh, leveled her up to 50 so far so I might as well use and I got the cost costume also <clears throat> Right here, okay Send this report to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and have them delegate each of the tasks on the list to the appropriate departments Also, be sure to tell them that though the lantern rite may be complicated everything must be done properly Hello Lady Mingguang, it's us again! <laughs> We're not disturbing you, are we? No, of course not. You are my honored guests. And given the looks of you two, I presume that you're here to celebrate the lantern, right? That's right! So what's on the agenda for the festival this year? As always, there will be a variety of activities taking place. Oh, but there is one of particular interest. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is planning a fireworks show this year. It should certainly be worth your time. Releasing Ming Shao lanterns has always been at the heart of the lantern rite. Is the graphics supposed to be like that? <laughs> as of late, I think the people of the city need something to warm their hearts. A feeling of everyone coming together in solidarity. So, I believe that this year calls for a celebration of particular magnificence. Something that would be closer to the hearts of every citizen. We are currently in the process of placing fireworks at various locations all throughout Liyue. We shall choose a timely moment during the festival to set up all the fireworks in unison, mm. allowing the sparkling lights and excitement to resonate with the hearts of the people. Fireworks? But we've already seen fireworks in other places before. Have we? <gasps> Is there something special <clears throat> about the fireworks in Liyue? Fireworks were originally developed alongside many other inventions here in Liyue. When our ancestors first created fireworks, they Fire were originally practice, known yep. as firecrackers. Their bright flashes and loud sounds were often used for warding off beasts or as warning signals to other people. In those days, it was difficult for people to contact one another <laughs> while out farming the, <laughs> the land, graphics still loading. so they would carry firecrackers with them to give signals when necessary. But people's lifestyles began to change after Leo Harbor was founded. They no longer had to travel out of town to tin the fields anymore. So the use of firecrackers for emergencies also began to dwindle. <laughs> but through our local customs, the pioneering spirit of the firecrackers has been passed down to this very day. We made improvements to firecrackers and began setting them off during the lantern rite to commemorate the tenacious spirit Classic of our ancestors. Leo. It's like how festivals now, when there's a uh, big festival, there's going to be fireworks, firecrackers. <laughs> Classic. Wow! Everything has so much history in Liyue! I guess it's like Chinese New Year, so same. <laughs> as I'm sure you already know, everything on this land accumulates history and value as time passes. That is the nature of Liyue. I've left Kuching in charge of the fireworks oh. show. If you're interested, why don't we pay her a visit together? Okay. Alright, new st story quest. So now go to the Liyue Fireworks stall. Um, we're supposed to meet Keqing. Well, I'm using Keqing now. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I don't remember this. This looks different now. This wasn't here before. Okay, I didn't realize realize this at all <laughs> before. Oh, and that's Kaching. <laughs> we need to add a few more locations for launching fireworks. The show has to be visible all across Liyue, not just in the city. <laughs> they celebrate Lantern right in Jingsa Village too, you know. But, Lady Kuching, what about our budget? The budget is exactly what it's meant to be. It's the necessary amount of funds to properly carry out a task. 
If you think the current budget will not suffice, then we'll simply have to apply for more funding from the Ministry of Civil Affairs and wait for their approval. Our aim is to organize a memorable Lantern Rite. The budget is there just to facilitate planning. We mustn't lose sight of our goal. Yes, Lady Kuching. I understand. Good. And please remember, safety first. <sighs> oh, it's Ningguang and the Traveler. Good to see you. Okay. Are you here for the Lantern Rite? Your timing couldn't be any better. The preparations are almost complete. What are you working on? I'm reviewing the positioning of the fireworks and double-checking the relevant facilities. It's all in a day's work. Forgive my directness, but if I'm not mistaken, you could just as easily leave these tasks to your subordinates. You've already been working around the clock these past few days. I'm sure a break would not be amiss. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Really, I can handle it. Pungi, please redraft our plans, make a summary report, and send it to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I'm going into town to check the progress of the fireworks setup. I'll return shortly. As for you, Traveler, you're our esteemed guest. Please take the opportunity to stay in Liyue Harbor and enjoy the festivities. <laughs> Peng Yi, is everything clear? Please remember the tasks I've given you. Yes, Lady Kuching. Don't worry. Good. Ningguang, Traveler, goodbye for now. <laughs> Please, excuse me, Lady Ningguang. And, uh... Traveler, I must get going. Lady Kuching told me a great deal going. of information, and I have to write up the plans from scratch again. <laughs> so time is of the essence. A lot of work. Oh, one do. moment. I almost forgot. Here, Traveler. This is a launch tube. Lady Kuching said you may be interested, launch so she tube? had me keep one to give to you. Someone with good handicraft skills should be <clears> able to <throat> use this to design their very own fireworks. Oh. You should try it when you have the chance. You can design your own fireworks. <laughs> uh, well, more like Paimon didn't dare open her mouth while they were talking, but still. Did you notice it too? Lady Kuching is a lot more outspoken than she used to be. And she seems a whole lot busier too. Wonder why? Ever since the Adepti left Leo Harbor in the hands of mortals, we Qixing have taken up the responsibility of leading the people. We have taken charge of many vital tasks in various sectors, and we are responsible for planning and organizing all sorts of affairs. That said, <laughs> being in charge of everything inevitably takes its toll. It's exhausting at times. Mm -hmm. Jiang Zhou was responsible for planning the Lantern Rite in former years, but her father is getting quite old now, so she transferred to another department this year. In the end, the Lantern Rite planning was left to Kuching and myself. I am the head organizer, while Kuching is responsible for the highly anticipated fireworks show. Such an important event should be entrusted to the most qualified candidate. Kuching is disciplined, yet passionate about her work. So she's naturally the best fit for the job. She's definitely disciplined! <laughs> no doubt about that! Absolutely. She is strict with both herself and others, to the point that she can even become overly involved at times. She's worked several days without a break now. I'm concerned about the effects it may have in the long run. Finding balance is an essential concept in Liyue culture. I've tried talking to her, but you know how she is. She uses her wit to talk circles around anyone. Mm, okay. Traveler, you are quite close to Kuching. Why don't you try talking to her? Maybe she'd listen to someone as experienced as you. Um, okay. Thank you, Traveler. I am glad you are able to help. Kuching can be a tough nut to crack sometimes. I still have other business to attend to at the Jade Chamber. I'll leave Kuching in your capable hands. Alright. Uh, are you sure you can really persuade Kuching to take a break? Even Ningguang herself couldn't <laughs> manage to convince her. Uh, maybe we Besides, can ask someone. Before you can persuade someone, you have to at least understand how they feel at the moment. Yeah. Kuching has been working non-stop without a break. Surely she's retired, yeah? Uh, duh! <laughs> Come on, everyone knows that. Think harder. How does she feel deep, deep down inside? Hmm. Uh, or maybe... Yeah. <gasps> we can ask a friend. Can ask you someone know, like someone Zongi. more knowledgeable about these things. Huh? Zhang Li? Oh, there's no arguing that. Shang Li it is then. Hmm, Paimon thinks he's still a consultant at the 
Wong Chung funeral parlor. Let's go see if he's there. Well, he's either there or maybe he's eating at the what's it called? I forgot the name. The place where he sits down. <laughs> okay, Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Uh, hello, how may I help you? You're looking you? for Zhong Li? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I'm afraid he is currently out with the director. Out with the director? Oh, you mean for work? The director said that they were going for a walk. If you prefer, you could go uh, to yes, the Ah, yes, that That's the name. I've heard the director often goes there to do a uh, promotion. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Oh, is that Xiang Ling? And Hu Tao, is it? Oh, is Hu Tao the director? Never I met Hu Tao. So <laughs> Not another bite. Hu Tao. There we go. Yeah. The current director. Okay. Oh, she's the director of the one ship in the parlor. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> Hats off to you, Xiangling. Serving the grilled fish with a dipping sauce is quite an innovative approach. The flavor is just to die for. <laughs> That's my signature dipping sauce. I knew it would taste great. Hmm. Tempered Jueyun chili powder mixed with garlic paste and chopped scallions. Then seasoned with salt, vinegar, and soy sauce, before finally sizzling in hot oil. This recipe may seem a bit crude, but is entirely hinged on the precise balancing of flavors and seasonings by the chef. Everything must be balanced just right. It is the consummate mastery of this balance that turns a humble dish into an exquisite one. Oh, <coughs> that's quite the compliment, don't you think? <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you, Mr. Zhongli. And I thought I have a way with words. But you certainly take the prize, Mr. Zhongli. You are too kind, Director. Your eloquence is... Uh, um, infamous in Liyue Harbor. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, would you like to order something, Guoba? Oh, please, by all means, it's my treat. I'll just open a tab under Xiangling. <gasps> Hey, are you guys talking about tasty food again? <laughs> oh, it's the Traveler in Paimon. What brings you to this side of town? Hold on, let me take a wild guess. Hmm, yes. Oh, you must be here for the lantern right. Uh, isn't that pretty obvious? <laughs> Anybody could have guessed that. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. Can't you take a joke? <laughs> You came at the perfect time. I was just letting everyone try my latest dish. The owner of Third Round Knockout says it's, it, well, a real <laughs> knockout. Mr. Zhongli and Hu Tao seem to like it too, but I think it never hurts to let more people do a taste test. How about it, you two? Would you like to have a taste? Huh. Don't have to ask Paimon twice. Thank you, but we need to see Zhongli. <laughs> Actually, actually, why not? <laughs> we meet again, traveler. I trust your journey is going well. Hey. Splendid. Therein lies the value of a journey. So come on. Why are you looking for our good consultants? Do enlighten us. And just in case you were wondering, we're on business too. We only tried Xiangling's dish since we yeah. just happened to be so here. Yeah, just try. Okay. Now then, traveler, what brings you to see me today? Long story short. All right. <laughs> mm, 
And I forgot what yes. was what were we here for. <laughs> the Yuhang is honest, intelligent, and most diligent. She is capable of shouldering responsibilities that few others could. But everything has a balance, and one's health must certainly weigh in. Yeah! Everyone knows you're super knowledgeable. Paimon bets she would listen to someone like you. If I were still the mighty Rex Lapis, I might be able to help her see reason. But alas, I'm now nobody but an ordinary consultant. My words no longer carry the same weight as they once did. Besides, I am by no means close to the Yuhang. Taking the liberty to lecture her may just as easily produce the opposite of the hmm. desired effect. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we do. Uh, then what should we do? We could take a more subtle, indirect approach to the matter, mm -hmm. such as telling a story that resonates with her, containing your message conveyed within it. Such a story can be achieved by referencing topics from her daily life. The story could prove even more effective if you weave in something about someone close to her. Um, so speak with yet. others who are familiar with coaching. Okay. I knew you'd understand what to do. <laughs> well done, traveler. Go collect some source materials for your story. Of course, I can always provide you with my advice if needed. Once we have formulated the plot, you can tell the story to the Yuhan. You are on amiable terms with the Yuha, which makes you the natural candidate. Oh, Paimon gets it! So we need to talk with people who know Kuching, right? So who should we start with? Who else? Oh, speaking of Kuching. Greetings, everyone. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm not intruding. Huh? Oh, Lady Kuching! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zhongli, I didn't expect to see you here. Thank you for all your assistance during the Rite of Parting. You are most welcome, Yuhang. It was the least I could do. What are you doing here? Hmm? Why? And what's with your strange expression? Hmm? Oh, I see. My apologies. I appear to Not have interrupted all. your conversation with Mr. Zhongli. Kuching, are you here looking for us? Yes. I was going to ask you to... Introduce me to the Adepti. Oh. I thought that it would be fitting to send them some festive gifts. On behalf of the Liyue Qixing. Okay. But didn't you meet them when we were fighting to defend Liyue Harbor together? Oh, it's the lantern, right? You could just as easily go and find them in Juyun Karst. Yes, but we only met briefly on that single occasion. The Adepti may have already forgotten about me. And I'm concerned oh, okay. it would be imprudent to show up so suddenly. Which is why I thought it would be more appropriate to ask you to introduce me first. <laughs> so you even have to run around delivering gifts in person? <sighs> it sure doesn't seem easy to Let be a kissing. <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. Let me go and prepare the gifts. I'm sorry to make you run errands with me during our big festival. I promise to make this quick and I'll be sure to get you back in time to enjoy the fireworks show. Then we go watch the fireworks together, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Together? Mm. All right. I'll go to see the fireworks with you once I've finished my work. Uh, speaking of which, Mr. Zhongli, the fireworks show will be particularly exciting this year. Please, don't miss it. Hey, Ray. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, let's see what happens if we join. Ah, yes. Thank you for your kind reminder. I should be going now. Traveler. Please come find me at the Jade Chamber once you're ready. And there she goes! <laughs> That's the Yuhan. Efficient and reliable as ever. You're really reliable too, Zhongli! <laughs> Why, thank you, Paimon. Please, don't forget our earlier conversation. Story once you've collected material, enough huh? story material, we can meet here again okay. and discuss things further. All right. By the way, <laughs> Ray just joined. Let's see what. Uh, to be continued. Oh, that was the end. Okay, but there's still more. Oh, oh, what? All right. Oh, another event. Okay. 
Um, wait until 8 to 12 for the next day. Alright. Where to now? Head to the designated location. Where? Oh, the jade chamber. Ah, you've arrived. I've made all the necessary preparations and even packed some handmade snacks. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I've also prepared some launch tubes made by Peng Yi. I hope the Adepti will like them. Is there anything that else should be I should everything. bring? Good. In that case, let's first pay Madame Ping a visit in the city Ping, before okay. heading out to Joy Yoon Karst. You have to meet the... Okay, so now it's part 2. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess we'll be finishing both parts. Uh, Go to... Med oh, we're going back there. Oh, is that Yang Fei? The festive season is upon us. This is no time to be running hither and thither. We should relax and enjoy the season. I get it, Granny, but you know, having lots of clients <laughs> is a good thing. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but really, child? could be seeking your help during the lantern right <laughs> you'd be surprised i'm guessing you have to do another thing later <laughs> madam ping happy lantern right it's a pleasure to see you again madam ping how are you oh dear well look who's here i'm so glad to see you all in time for the festival hello traveler long time no see oh and lady kuching is here too <laughs> The Qixing have prepared some small gifts for you to celebrate this festive occasion. There are some seasonal goods, two bolts of fine silk, and some exotic flower seeds which I picked specifically for you, Madam Ping. I brought all the lighter gifts with me, but the silks are still on the way. I just submitted them for delivery, so I'm sure they'll arrive in good time. Please, accept our humble gifts. I hope you'll find them to your liking. Wow, those gifts sound marvelous! Please be sure to thank the Chising on our behalf. Yes, how very nice of you. I'm sure the flowers will be most beautiful if you personally selected the seeds. <laughs> thank you very much, Kuching. Please, enjoy them. We intend to visit the other Adepti as well, so I'm afraid we must be going now. I presume you mean Cloud Retainer and the others? Yes, they should be over in Jueyun Karst. By the way, I've heard that you designed all the street decorations yourself, Kuching. You decorated the city so beautifully, yet you don't even have the time to go and see it for yourself. Uh -huh. What a pity. Yen Fei really enjoys spending time at the festival. You'll find her wandering around there whenever she can spare a moment. Come on, Granny. I wasn't wandering around. <laughs> I was providing essential consultation to my clients. Oh, is that so? Were you also holding consultations with clients while you stood in front of the grilled tiger fish stand for all that time? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was helping them calculate the prices. You're working it's doing that and right too. <laughs> I had to check a lot of different items. That's right. There are no holidays in my line of work. I have to be ready whenever my clients need me. That sounds exhausting. Oh, Paimon can't imagine a life without holidays. Well, though there are no set holidays, I do get to decide on my own schedule. I can always budget some time to relax. Otherwise, I would always look exhausted in front of potential clients. It'd be hard to land new cases after leaving a terrible first impression. Mm -hmm. Besides, uh, what's the saying? Arrested worker ah, yes. is an efficient. Arrested worker is an efficient worker. Ah, have you been to the festival yet, Kuching? I was there many times when I was supervising the festival construction, but I haven't been there since. I was planning to go after I finished my work, but the work ah, let's go after up. Finish. I ended up completely forgetting about it. <laughs> yes, I should take the opportunity to show you around while you're here. But first, we should head to Joy Yoon Karst. If you'll excuse us, Madam Ping. We'll be leaving now. Okay. Let's see. Which adeptus shall we visit first? Lady Kuching is so hard working. Maybe I should take a leaf out of her book. Girl Marler would give it a 
Only with MP. I know that you must be busy, but please take care of yourself. Sacrificing your health is never wise. Mm -hmm, true. Okay, go to Mount Ao Chang. Outsung. <laughs> she usually stays inside. Uh, I didn't finish reading. There's still more dialogue. Okay, go on. Okay. All right. <laughs> I keep interrupting because I didn't know there'll be more dialogue. Is there any more? No. Okay. Um, uh, Mount Ao Chang. I guess it's a good thing that I got Kaching. <laughs> Even though it's not standard banner. But that means I'll get something else in the standard banner later. Oh, this place. Okay. Yep. <laughs> the festive season is fast approaching. Oh, Ganyu. I haven't the tested the firewood yet. <laughs> I've heard that you are fond of gadgets, test it later. so I've brought one for your amusement. Cloud Retainer. Although she is not outwardly opposed to us, she is still skeptical of Liu mm -hmm. being ruled by humans. Maybe she thinks humans are still too young to handle it. No matter. With time, our strength will become apparent enough. Before then... We should try to give her a good impression. <laughs> good thing I came prepared. Cloud Retainer has a great interest in gadgets. Yeah. So she will certainly appreciate this gift. Ganyu has said that Cloud Retainer is very picky about food, so I made sure not to bring any snacks to avoid upsetting her. I've given everything thorough um, consideration. It should all go well. I have a feeling it might not go well. Not bring any snacks to avoid upsetting her. She is impressed. It is intricate with ingenious design and is aesthetically agreeable. Yes, judging from Cloud Retainer's expression, it seems mm -hmm. this gift was a success. Very good. One shall gladly accept this device. One surmises from Ganyu's words that you also wish to see Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. Uh, what happened? Pity. Your timing two. is most unfortunate. Oh, are they not home? Oh, we wanted to see them too. <laughs> Those two old fossils. <laughs> Moon Carver has been most anxious to see how Liyue Harbor fares. But the agreement was clear. Liyue is now in the hands of the Chi Sing. And he cannot simply roam into the city and begin supervising others' work as he pleases. So one tried to persuade him otherwise, proposing that if he could not be placated, he could go to the city disguised as a human Ooh. and take a brief look around. Well? Alas, he is too stubborn, too proud. He would have none of it. Thereafter, he left, 
claiming to have gone traveling. He has not returned since. Mountain Shaper, however, is more open-minded. But he said he wished to look for something new with which to defend the tranquility of his mountain. He told one that he was leaving in search of treasures. <clears throat> and one has not heard from him since. Hmm? Wait. Surely this is not a case of two old coots and cahoots. <laughs> Rosing to Possible? excuse themselves that they might venture behind one's back. To scurry away <laughs> and go traveling together. Huh? What's everybody doing here? Yeah, who is that? This voice. Shen he, oh. Is it Shen he? Oh? Oh? So Shen he is here oh, too. Shen he. Okay. Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Is she the one that you mentioned before? Hello everyone. Shen he. This is Ganyu. You have most likely heard of her. Uh, oh, uh, hello. I'm Ganyu. I work at Yujing Terrace. I thought they two already know each other <laughs> because since both of them are so if under. You need anything, please feel free to come to me. I will. Thank you. I brought some food from the city. I heard that during Lantern Rite, people in Liyue bring food to share with their friends. So here I am. Okay. Oh no, I made a point of ah, that's that's the food I was thinking about. Is it going to be okay? Intentionally refrain from bringing. Is it going to be okay? Oh. And you even brought food for those two old fossils. That's right. Hmm. Hmm? After barely a few days in the city, you have learned so much. Thank you for these delectable edibles, Shen He. <sighs> huh? Everyone, you shall all be staying in Liyue Harbor in the future. One should like to think that you will all look out for each other. Is that understood? Will do. Yes, understood. This place is much livelier <laughs> than I'd imagined. Time to change the topic. Have you seen Xiao? Oh, we're gonna the meet Xiao now. The of demons? One has not seen him of late. Well, then he's probably not enjoying Karst. <laughs> Let's go look for him in his usual spot, at Wang Shuren! All right. In short. One is the only Adeptus who has elected to remain in Joyun Karst for the festival. Had Ganyu not come to visit, one would likely have stayed firmly put in one's abode to resume research of gadgets and mechanics. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please accept my profuse apologies. <laughs> Why the sudden solemnity? It would certainly not be the first time one has been interrupted on your account. As a youngling, you did so love to scurry around the place while one's attention was monopolized by mechanisms. You were especially drawn to a certain implement one had made. Oh, what was it? Oh? What was oh it? Oh no, here she goes again. <laughs> this could spell trouble for Ganyu. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I just remembered there's something I must attend to. I should be going. Oh? Why the sudden haste? With the Yuhang present, why not settle this matter here and now? Mm -hmm. Uh, n no. It's something very important. In fact, I must see Lady Ningguang about it immediately. A matter so pressing that you must find Ningguang in person? Uh, <clears throat> uh, yes. Ningguang and I have different scopes of work, you see, and Ganyu has to report to both of us, respectively. It's indeed not easy for her. <laughs> Lady Kaching is trying to help me. Yes, that's right. I'm very sorry, everyone. I will take my leave. <laughs> okay. Huh. Gone already. That child, she has always been easily ruffled. One can sympathize, however. It is no simple thing to be a secretary. Nearly every matter in Liyue Harbor, momentous or trivial, Passes through Ganyu's diligent hands. But even as an adeptus, she must never neglect her own health, lest she fall prone to exhaustion. Ganyu is an assiduous worker, apt to forgoing food and rest once she is busy. Please make sure she eats and sleeps properly whenever you see her. I will. Ganyu has always been a great asset to us. 
Her health is a priority, so I will take good care of her. The Yu Hung, reliable as ever. <laughs> it was indeed a wise decision to leave Liue Harbor to you. We will certainly strive to live up to your expectations. As for these edibles... Hmm. They do look delectable indeed. You may leave them here. Shen He shall bring these into one's abode. And one shall pass them on to Moon mm -hmm, okay. and Mountain Shaper once they have made their return. This firework has an intriguing design. One must conduct a thorough study of it. And one also wants to hear what Shen He has learned in Liyue Harbor. Oh, yes. I have many interesting stories to tell. Let us chat while one scrutinizes this device. Continue your research even during Nansen, right? Yeah! Don't you rest during the holidays? This is a festive <laughs> season after all. <laughs> one has long been living secluded in the mountains and no longer observes the holidays. Worry not, one shall take appropriate care of oneself. Rest is crucial. If one is too devoted to one's research and falls ill, one shall be in no fit state to test the devices personally. Is it really that important to test it yourself? Of course. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. If one spends all that time working on a machine, yet forgets to test the outcome, <laughs> that would be akin to a chef who never tries his own food, no? Mm -hmm. It is unwise to put the cart before the horse. Makes sense. <sighs> Enough idle chatter, everyone. One must go and continue one's research. Come, Shanha, this way. Okay. So. A doesn't get to try their own food? Yeah, that can be weird. <laughs> that would be kind of weird. Cloud retainer sure does know a lot about gadgets and cooking. She can be a bit strange sometimes. But then again, she is an adeptus. That's the wisdom of an adeptus. She takes good care of those around her. Though she lives in seclusion, she also manages to bring everyone together. A hermit who's more social than most living in society. <laughs> what an interesting character. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to Wang Shuin. Wang Shuin, okay. Perhaps we'll find the conqueror of demons there. So we're going to find Xiao. We can offer? What? I guess we get a treasure if we keep offering something here? Alright, uh... So... Alright, oh, here. Yeah, 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 I remember. Oh, this is... This might end up being long, huh? Maybe... Maybe for part Let's one... Let's ask Virgil Det where the conqueror of demons may be. Maybe part one, I'll do one video. I will huh? see ya. Hold on! Isn't that... It's Chi Chi! Of course, Chi Chi oh, would be here. And the weird guy with the snake Dr. around here. Buys you. Buys you. Yeah. Are the herbs. I've picked lots of them. So, how many of you have gotten Chi Chi? <laughs> Splendid. Let me pack up, and then we can be on our way. Hey, you guys! What are you doing? Doctor Buys you wanted herbs, so I came to collect herbs, lots of them, and. Dr. Baiju came too. Traveler! Paimon! Oh, and Lady Kaching! It's a pleasure to see you all. We're here stocking up more herbs. Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs out of digestive herbs during the festival seasons. With Lantern right just around the corner, I thought we should get prepared. We came all this way to collect some herbs, and we've picked quite the assortment. We'll be on our way back to the pharmacy once the herbs right. are sorted. I certainly didn't expect to see the Yuhang all the way out here. I have some business to attend to here. Ah, I see. It's nearly time to celebrate Lantern Rite. And you're still running errands. Hard working as always. I appreciate the sentiment, Dr. Baiju. I'm just doing my job. Kaching and the Traveler are very busy. <laughs> Everyone's busy uh, preparing busy for the lantern. Everyone, <laughs> keep it up. All right, thank you, Titi. We shouldn't tarry here any longer. Take care, you two. Uh, um, three. <laughs> Traveler, let's go find Virgoldet. Okay. Virgoldet inside. 
Eh. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Ah, Lady Kuching. What a surprise. Is there anything I can help you with? No, thank you. I'm just wondering if you might know where the conqueror of demons is. Oh, we never inquire about Chao's whereabouts. But if he's here, he would be up on the rooftop terrace. He's probably up there. Please feel free to go up and have a look. You see? Uh, wait. Are you? Nope, it doesn't seem like. Hmm. He doesn't seem to be here. Perhaps we came at the wrong time. Maybe he's out battling somewhere again. Let's leave the gifts with the owner and ask her to. Oh. How can I help? There he is. Are you see the whole time? Yes. Hello. I am Kuching. Yuhong of the Liyue Chising. The Yuhong. Yes. I saw you when we battled Osile. You are fierce with your blade. Uh, anyway, we're here to give you some lantern right presents. <laughs> see? There's lots of tasty food. <laughs> Don't waste your delicacies on me. Chising specially prepared them for you. <laughs> Eradicating demons is my duty. Don't have to thank me. Karma is harmful to the human body. Even if you have a stronger constitution than most. You should keep your distance from me when you can afford to. The text is totally different. Hey! Wait! <laughs> are you leaving? Oh, come on! Lantern Rite is almost here! Don't you want to take a break? Yeah. Like I said before, I have no liking for crowds. I must remain vigilant of evil attacks. Especially Everyone's busy with holidays. their work, I will continue even though it's holidays. You should also exercise caution. Mm -hmm. And if there's any danger, good. <laughs> and he's gone. Well, Xiao hasn't changed a bit. Wonder if he'll come and watch Maybe. the fireworks this year. All right, we've completed our visits with all the adepti. Let's take a break downstairs before we head back into the city. Alright. Get this on the ground floor. Okay. Oh no. What should we do? Hmm? What? What's going on? Huh? Oh! Lady Kuching! Lady Kuching! I'm so glad <laughs> to see you here. Uh, Fang Yi? What's wrong? What are you doing here? Lady Kuching! Let me explain. I had rearranged the fireworks layout and expanded the range to Qingsa Village just like you requested. My people finished setting up the fireworks and we left someone in charge to launch them for the show. But uh -huh. the person we left in charge came back shortly after oh, no. and reported that all the fireworks in Qingsa Village had been stolen. I immediately reported the situation to the Millileth and had another batch of fireworks oh, okay. made to be transported to Qingsa Village under escort. However, everyone's short-handed during Lantern Rite. Millilith are already stretched thin and don't even have enough people to fill their regular patrols. They can't spare anyone to look after the fireworks for us. We don't have many materials left. So if the second batch of fireworks gets stolen as well, we're done for. So I see. I was thinking to go to Chingsa Village and have a look first. Which is when I bumped into you. Lady Kuching. What should we do? According to the Ministry of Civil Affairs, the number of guards on patrol has to be doubled and rotated continuously during Lantern Rite. They must perform these extra measures in addition to their standard daily affairs. The only manpower they can muster during the festival would be the emergency response units. But those special units are intended only for backup. There are not many of them and they cannot perform prolonged guard duty. If we wish to make use of them, we'll need to resolve the problem quickly. Oh. Maybe we can ask the adept guy for help. This would be a piece of cake for someone like Cloud Retainer or Xiao. <sighs> no, that would only make us look incompetent. I'll handle this, Pungyi. You can't let Kuching do this all by herself. <laughs> we can help too, Kuching. Yeah. Thanks, you two. Actually, I have an idea. Let me make some arrangements. Pungyi, go back to Liyue Harbor and get the fireworks ready. Then meet me in Chingsa Village. Traveler, come with me. Let's ask around to see what happened. Okay, ask around. Wait until you know that's not it. <laughs> Every time that quest. Uh 
go to Ching Se Village. I'm actually planning to stream, but I want to finish this before I do that. <laughs> ah, this lady. Oh, how could a whole batch of fireworks just vanish like that? Hello, Granny Roshi. We'd like to know more about the recent fireworks theft. Oh, Lady Kaching. I can hardly believe you came personally to investigate. It's no trouble at all. Please, tell us what happened. Well, when they brought the fireworks, the children in the village were very excited. They were all gathered round watching the area for a long time. The workers piled up the fireworks and said they would go confirm the locations to set them off. That's when they left the village. Now, let me remember. Ah, oh, yes. I recall that they left the fireworks in an open area just, just next, next to, to a house down the old road. But the very next day, all the fireworks were nowhere to be seen. The person in charge of the fireworks was so anxious that they went straight back to okay. the city to find a solution. Oh, the villagers here are worried too. The fireworks missing can only mean that there are thieves about. Mm -hmm. There are elderly and kids in the village, you know? Although the Milliveth are stationed here, no one dares to go out anymore. I understand. Please help reassure the people in the village and tell them everything's going to be fine with the Milliveth standing guard. Traveler, let's go investigate the place where the fireworks were stolen. Okay. Hmm, where? Uh, with that. This is the place. The fireworks were stolen here. The thieves must think there are mostly elderly and children living in Chinksa village. All too weak to defend themselves. Otherwise, they would never dare commit such a blatant crime. This is absolutely awful. We cannot let such a matter go unpunished. Let's see if we can find any clues here before we All plan right. our next step. Find some clues. Uh, are these footprints? Look for the object. Let's see where they lead. Oh, there. Okay. Footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. Here. The footprints continue here. Okay. Let's keep following them. Sir, please. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Uh, treasure hoarders? <laughs> Jeez, Xinqiao. Of, of course. If so, then tell me, why are you hiding Everyone here? in the banner should be in the story. Please, good sir. Oh, this Chong Yun also. really is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> I would never dream of getting anywhere near the Feiyun Commerce Guild shipment. Well, I guess, uh, we found them. What's happening over there. Let's go have a look. Oh! It must be. Please save your breath. Restrain this fellow. Tightly now. We mustn't let him get away. Yes, young master. <sighs> I was sure it was an evil spirit. <laughs> Turns out it's the treasure hoarders again. Xing Chung Chung Yun! Hello! Well, hello, dear traveler. Our fates cross once again. What brings you here? Uh, excuse me. Please. Tell me what is happening here. Ah, yes. Allow me to explain. It so happens that every year during the Lantern Rite, the Feiyun Commerce Guild transports supplies to various villages mm -hmm. outside of Liyue Harbor. Family rules stipulate that the supplies must be personally escorted by a family member. Because my older brother went last year, the duties have fallen to me this time around. Oh! So what's Chang Yun doing here? Chang Yun happened to be visiting, so I cordially invited him to join oh, okay. us for the journey. Oh, I see! <laughs> Yeah. But well, why did Chang Yun say he thought there was an evil spirit? I see that you are not familiar with the story of old. It is said that fireworks were once called firecrackers. What of evil spirits? Okay, that makes evil sense. spirits and the like. In ancient times, <laughs> Liyue was plagued by evil spirits. As people gathered together to celebrate the annual festival, the Yang energy would intensify, and evil spirits were thus attracted to the fringes of the city by the strong scent. Liyue Harbor was under the gracious protection of Rex Lapis, so the spirits dared not enter the city. However, they still lingered near the city gates and pestered the passers-by. In order to drive the spirits away, 
People made firecrackers and lit them near the city gates. The flashes of light and loud noise successfully drove the spirits whence they came. This festival is now known as the Lantern Rite. Mm -hmm. It was my intention to travel around to see if there are any malicious spirits lying in wait for passers-by. Since I happened to have a shipment of goods to deliver, and our course was through the mountains, I naturally thought it best to have my Thaumaturge friend traveling alongside me. Sincho said he learned the story about evil spirits from an ancient text. The text okay. vividly describes the appearance and even the whereabouts of the spirits. Sincho must be leading Chongyun along. Chongyun never got to see the book, did he? Anyway, when we arrived at the area, Chongyun sensed an ambush about to take place. Upon searching the area, we found a group of treasure hoarders. They I assume the these treasure hoarders are the one who took the fireworks? Fortunately, I was swift enough to catch one of them. <laughs> Your timing couldn't have been more fortunate. We were just preparing to send them to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. He insists the matter is merely a misunderstanding. But things seem quite clear as I see it. Good, sir. Just hear me out. Okay, why is he saying? Everyone knows the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Had we known it was your merchant <laughs> caravan, we never So if it wasn't Feiyun Commerce Guild, he would, he would attack. The master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild is famous for his generosity and noble deeds. A, a, a true hero of the people. <laughs> so, you see, this is nothing but a big misunderstanding. We, we didn't want any trouble with the guild. What you mean to say is that you were targeting someone else then? Well, who was it? I... Uh, well, uh, well, just trust me. We were definitely not <laughs> trying to steal your goods. Really? Please, please believe me. Just... Master Singcho, <laughs> I would like to borrow a few of your staff to escort the thief to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <laughs> okay. As for the bounty, we will pay you afterward. It is my humble duty to uphold justice. No remuneration shall be necessary. Come then. See that this thief is taken to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, young master, leave it to us. You heard him. Take this man over there and make sure he's secured. Tie each of his fingers separately if you have to. He's not going to pull anything under our watch. Wait a second. Hmm? Please also deliver this message to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <clears throat> it's very likely that this thief is related to the recent fireworks theft in Chingsa Village. Yeah. Make sure they have someone question him. Thoroughly. <laughs> so the plot thickens. Is your task clear? We mustn't disappoint the Yuang. Yes, young master, I understand. We'll be on our way. Okay. I've heard many good things about you, Master Xingqiu. Thank you for your assistance. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. Everyone, my intuition tells me that there could be more than one group of treasure hoarders in this area. More than one group? Oh, you've got quite a keen eye too, Chongyun. During our search, I found scattered sets of footprints yeah, different from those on too. the road. There may still be other treasure hoarders waiting to ambush passers-by. When I was chasing the treasure hoarders earlier, I noticed that they were nearly unarmed and very few in numbers. If they truly intended to ambush yeah, that's the why they Feiyun said Commerce Guild, going for the they Feiyun. must have overestimated themselves. If you ask me, they didn't seem to be staging an ambush. But rather it appeared as if they were waiting for someone. It appears they may be the thief's accomplices. Mm -hmm. They were probably hiding here to wait for the stolen goods. What exactly are the stolen goods? It's the fireworks ask. of the lantern, right? Taking advantage of the elderly and children. What a loathsome group of criminals. Lady Kuching, don't fret about manpower. Chongyun, let's go lend them a hand in Chinks the village, shall we? Yeah, just leave it to us. We can handle a bunch of thieves. Thank you. That will help alleviate the crisis in Chingsa Village. Unfortunately, the footprints we were following end here. I don't know where we should go next. It seems we were only a moment <laughs> away from catching all the treasure hoarders. Aww. Kuching. We'll find a way to catch them. Thank you. Master Xingqiu, I'll leave Chingsa Village under your watch. Most assuredly, Lady Kuching. Alright. <clears throat> It's fortunate our paths crossed with those two. It's good to have some help, yep. It's so cool to fight for justice! The thieves <laughs> who stole the fireworks haven't revealed themselves yet. I'll go have a look around. Traveler, please go take a rest in Chingsa Village. I've troubled you enough already. I can handle the rest of this matter myself. Really? Uh, Kuching, yeah. <laughs> you can help to together. Look for Yeah, I should eat. Why don't you ask some of your subordinates to help? At least it'll be safer than investigating on your own. 
Yes, I agree, but we are short-handed at the moment. I can handle these trivial matters myself. Let's the just go together that then. were transported to Chingsa village were quite bulky. They couldn't have gone far. The way I see it, if they were clever enough, they would conceal the stolen goods somewhere and then come pick them up later. All I have to do is find out where they hid the fireworks and then return to the location with reinforcements. Don't worry. I am not reckless, and I won't carelessly alert the thieves. You can certainly trust me by now. Well, when you put it mm -hmm. that way... It's settled then. Traveler, right, then. Paimon, please go get some rest. I'll go find you in Chingsa village when I'm done. Alright, you can trust. Okay, that is completed, and I think it's not over. What? <laughs> That's gonna be part 3, is it? Uh, no. This... Or maybe part 3 is not ready yet? This is a different one now. Okay, well, uh, for now, I think um, it ends here. Maybe part 3 is later on, I don't know when. Maybe I'll do this, but maybe this one not so... Yeah, I'm not sure about these two, but I think I'll stop here for now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.